joins us now from Nashville. Good morning to you, Jennifer. Hi, how are you guys? Oh, we're great. Great to speak to you because that, that single, Crush, that was such a big hit. It's been described as one of the biggest breakthrough moments of all time for an artist. So, uh, you know, how, how, how surreal crazy. was that for you? It was nuts. It was totally nuts, to be honest. Like, I'm from a small town in Georgia, and I hadn't really traveled a ton. So um, for me, it was like such an introduction to the world. Um, I had been a singing since I was a little kid, so that part was not um, as new. But the traveling part and, you know, even coming to Australia in the past and all that, just so amazing and mind-blowing, truly. Yeah, it was incredible, wasn't it, Jennifer? Because after the success of the single, you toured the world, you even sang at the Vatican in Rome. How did that come about? I did. It was really cool, actually. I was um, just reached out to, and um, they were having different generations, people of the generation, sing um, and perform for the Pope. And so it was pretty cool. It was a Christmas concert. And I was like, this is pretty awesome. Like, I got to meet the Pope, and the Pope blessed me. So surely my life will be amazing after this. So it was, <laughs> it was pretty incredible. <laughs> you know, after that, in the late 2000s, you took a bit of a break, but you've, you've rediscovered your love for recording while you're working on a Christmas album, because what a bit, what more fun thing to do than make Christmas music? Yeah, I mean, um, I've always loved Christmas music. I know a ton of people hate Christmas music, but I actually love it, mm -hmm. and I we wanted to take good. Okay, I love that. Um, yeah, so like I, I love I, to me, music is like what really brings that season to life, and so I always wanted to make a, a record, and um, finally got the chance to make an indie record that was um, a holiday record, and it was so much fun. And yeah, like you said, it kind of reignited my passion for music. Jennifer, you're just about to release a new album called Starflower, and it's your first album since 2008. Are you excited for people to hear your new music? I am so excited. Like, I really am. It's just like, um, you know, my life has changed a lot over the last years, and um, to be able to, like, kind of share that through music, I, I mean, it's just what I love to do the most, truly. So, I, I'm, I, I mean, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm too, totally um, thrilled to be able to, like, tour again and just, I don't know, offer what I've got for people. Well, you're a multi-platinum artist down here in Australia. You said you've been here before. You've got a lot of fans here. When can we see you come back down under? I'm hoping soon. Um, yeah, I, I already have some things booked for the summer um, and hopefully we'll get Australia on that list. Fingers crossed. So great to speak to you, Jennifer. Uh, good luck with the new album at Starflower. It goes on sale this Friday. Great to see you. Thanks, Jennifer.